Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're going to be looking into Chromecast and following Google's quick start guide on how you can add Google Chromecast to your website in this sample app. So we're going to be following the guide um, provided by Google. So you can get started by downloading the source code they have. And then you'll be asked to install the following two um, services called HTTP server. And then the following one, um, but first we'll install HTTP server. So you can do that like this. You may need to use um, sudo in front depending on the uh, permissions of your um, device. So you can just run it like this. It'll take a moment to load and then you need to install this command as well, which lets you have a server that you can access on the web rather than just on your own uh, machines. So you may need to add an extra command for this. So if you see this command just here on the screen, some um, times when you run this, you need to install it slightly differently. So that's what this command here will allow you to do. So you can see when I run this now, it will allow me to do this. Now you may not need sudo here as well, so you can check if you need to remove that. But that may then take a little while just to download and install. And now we can go in and take a look at the finished version of what we'll be creating. So to do that, go to the app done folder and then create your server with the HTTP server command. And you can view this in your browser as well. And you can see that this now links up to Chromecast. I have the Chromecast button just here and I've got my uh, Chromecast device up with my TV. So if I click onto it, that would appear onto Chromecast. But now we're gonna go through what we actually need to do to run these steps. So what we need to do first is run this ngrok command in a separate terminal window and then we can make it so it's, it sort of creates a, a tunnel that you can access um, from your um, local host across the web so you can access this url that you can see just here and then i can test it across across different devices um, no matter what wi-fi i'm on so it's a good way of testing if you are actually connected to your chromecast device so now that we've seen that it's all actually set up we have these um, services installed and we can spin up these servers. We can go ahead and stop these servers now before we actually take the steps needed to start coding this in. So make sure you stop those services now and we can switch and go to the app start folder and then we can actually start to make the necessary changes. So first go to the app start folder and run up a new HTTP server. So I'm just going to go into that folder now and start up my server exactly like we did before. So that may take a while to load. And then you can see that this is actually appearing in the URL. And now we're going to do exactly the same thing again, but for our tunnel to create our server separately. So we're just going to switch the folder that you're in. So you're in the app start folder and then run that same command. You can see I've got mine up and running again. And then you can go to this URL in your browser. If I just copy that and paste it in. So this replaces the old one you can see that on this one, we don't have our Chromecast button yet. So we need to make a few changes to our code so that we actually get this button appearing. So the first change we're going to make is by actually adding in the Google Cast sender um, JavaScript at the bottom of the page. So we'll just copy this and add it to the bottom of our page. And we need to make sure that we have a callback that this function can send to once it sets up the connection to our Chromecast device. So when our device is ready, when it finds that there's a device on our network, this is the function that it will call. So you can see we've added that just here. So now when we load the page, it's going to try and make a call to this function if we have a Chromecast device that's on our network. The next step is to go into the cast videos JavaScript file. So we'll just open that now. And we need to make a few changes to this code so it can actually run. Now this is a great way of just familiarizing yourself with the necessary functions and how you can actually get this started. So I'm just gonna scroll down and find the actual area of this page I wanna add this code to. So just under this block just here, and you can see the receiver application ID, which we'll mention in a minute. So we need to add a couple of other functions as well. So we're just gonna scroll up and add it to the top of this function, just these variables just here. Like this and then this is the receive application ID which if you keep it with this ID just here 
it's what you can use for testing. But next we're going to be taking in this um, element just here, which is for the actual buttons. So this is a, a piece of uh, HTML that Google provides so you can add this button onto your page. So if you load it now, it may take a, mom a moment because it will cache the um, JavaScript each time you load it. So you might have to refresh it a couple of times, but then you should see that the Chromecast button is now appearing. But if you click onto it, nothing will happen just yet. So we need to make a few more changes to our JavaScript file so we can connect to the um, remote player. So that's what we're gonna add just now. So we'll paste this in further down the page and you just wanna refresh the JavaScript file to see if these updates are appearing. So as you can see there, I refreshed and the code appeared but it might cache a couple of times. You need to make sure that you double check this just in case it's not running for you and the Chromecast icon doesn't appear. So then we'll copy this next part of code and paste that in as well. Just replace it with that whole function. Just, I think I missed a part just there. Yeah, make sure that you replace all of it just like this. And then we want to add this um, player target load function as well, just underneath the uh, reference to the player target. So just here. Now what we'll find is we still have this switch case, this switch player um, error at the moment. So you see in our console over here, we have this error because the uh, switch yeah, the switch player function doesn't exist, so we just need to add this in now as well. So just underneath here, we'll paste that in. So that means this function will now work. So once we save this and make sure it's not cached, we'll get this. But we'll just add this error message function as well, just to check. So if there is any further errors, we can find out what, they're, what they are actually being caused by. So we'll paste this underneath. So now if we save all of this and refresh it a couple of times so that it's not being cached, we should see that the uh, Chromecast icon is appearing and there's no more errors in our console log. So if we go ahead and click on our Chromecast icon, we should now be able to connect to our device and see if this is starting to stream. So I'm just gonna record this on my phone now so you can see my actual TV. It's now playing this video. So that's how easy it is to connect it. But you might wanna now take a closer look into the code and see how this all links together. So it uses this Google Cast Launcher, um, which is actual the button. And then down here, because we um, wait for this is function available, it then connects everything together. So we call this function just here. So once it's available, we check if the um, function is true, and then we run this function just here to initialize the cast player. And that then links up to this part just here, which again is that receiver application ID, which is probably the most important part here. If you need to change this for your functions, um, for your app, you'll need a new one of these, which you have to apply for. Thanks for watching this video. It's a little bit different to the other ones on the channel. If you are looking into adding Chromecast support for your website or app, I hope you found this useful. See you in the next video.